Hi guys, this is Kelly, also known on Twitter as KellyN1977, and today is Friday, September 13th, and it's 7 o'clock. And I figured I'd just do a quick vlog. I haven't done one in about five days. So, I had my grandson over Wednesday. Um, he got dropped off at 1245 and picked up yesterday at 11. And he slept from 8 to 6.30. I was very surprised. He was very tired. He did not take a nap Wednesday. And uh, after the quick rain shower we had, we ended up walking to Family Dollar. We were outside walking around. And at Family Dollar, um, total hour and a half. And it was a little warm. Um, so that probably helped him sleep better because he was tired he was looking at all the cars and people and motorcycles and bicycles and likes to look at things he's almost 18 months um so that we did that um i didn't feel like cooking wednesday with my grandson being here of course so uh we got our free medium to topping pizza at domino's um so we had that for dinner yesterday i made my husband pork chop with steak and garlic seasoning. I um, braised it in the frying pan. So how I do it is I take a container and I put coat the bottom with oil and I put each side in there and make sure it's well well um, spread over evenly and then I add the seasoning on one side. I fry that for five minutes on um, medium high and then I add the seasoning to the other side and then I fry that for five minutes and then I turn it down to medium and I flip it every two minutes until it's properly cooked. Um, after I pan fry it each side for five minutes I add a little bit of fluid not too much but just a little bit and in that way the pork won't be dry it'll be cooked fully and this is the one with the bone and then um, there's always a little bit of liquid flavoring left over to put on top of it. And then I made my husband his uh, beef noodles that he likes and butter corn. So that's what he had for dinner. I don't eat anything on the bone, so I had the noodles with mashed potatoes for dinner. I wasn't going to cook a separate meal. I hate doing that stupid. Um, so we had that. And then yesterday, I played some um, Fade to Silence again, so now I have six hours into the game. And I have no clue what people are talking about. Um, I think the problem with the game at the beginning is that people were playing survival mode. And with survival mode, I believe the resources that are there are the only ones you'll get. So things don't come back. Um, and the goal for survival mode is to survive as long as you can. Um, it may still have the story to it, but that's the point of it. It's like a hardcore mode. And you really don't want to play that until you max out all, um, you know, your skills. And you need points. And you don't get your skills unlocked until you die and play again. And that's when you get skills. Um, so I've had no problem making food, medication, um, I've made the, um, makeshift hut that you take with you, so if there's a blizzard, or if you're badly injured, you can rest in there, um, so the medication doesn't I don't really know what's the difference if I take it or not. I just take it because it's there. There's no like selling or trading in the game. Um, but I noticed if you're injured and you sleep, the more you sleep, the more health you recover. Um, and there is, you know, you have to be careful not to get cold because then your health goes down. Um, no problem with wood, arrows. I'm doing really good on hunting the day or now. So how it works is you'll go where you can log and you cut down the trees and then your survivors will collect it. Hunting grounds, which it, the map shows you where everything is, um, you have to hunt one deer 
and you skin it, and then when you tell your survivors to go hunting, they'll go to the closest part. Mining is the same thing, so this is how it works. Um, it's very simple and easy for, for me. Um, there's a new monster I came across, and he looks like the Bahama from Final Fantasy, except he goes invisible, which, cheating, he's a cheater. So, uh, yeah, he destroyed me. Even my weapon wasn't doing any damage to him. So, uh, I would try to stay away from him <laughs> if I can, because he ended up killing me. So, I have one more life left, because I believe it's still, Infinity Mode is still six lives, and then you start over. I notice every time I die and I look down, there's a painting or a drawing that gets filled in more and more so that's kind of cool um there's a lot of things there's like these red pouches and um you search it and the devil guy whoever he is what he's supposed to be alien i don't know he will talk to you and he tries to discourage you from moving on i got an outpost which was not difficult to take over. I thought it would be harder. Um, and in the outpost, whatever they had stored, you get to keep. I got like a thousand wood, um, nine things of food, you know, 25 arrows. Uh, there's so much stuff in there. I saw scrap, um, oil, um, no copper, um, there's bear fur. So, I mean, I don't know what these people are talking about unless the reviews and the complaints is before they had five hot fixes. Maybe they did balancing and stuff, but uh, you know, so far so good. I'm enjoying the game. I've played twice, three hour sessions. Um, I'm getting more of the story, so I guess he doesn't remember the past because he actually died and this entity brought him back. Um, so he has to cleanse the area and rebuild. Um, so he has, sometimes he'll have flashbacks of what happened in the past. So I'm starting to get a little idea now. Um, if you want wolves, you can find them. Um, at the outpost. That's where you, you'll get them. And, um, and then you can build a wolf hut and go sledding which is cool. I have a regular hut for survivors. If I find any more, I've only found Vic, which is the soldier. Um, and i in the process of building the um, craft shop. So I'm not quite sure what you do in there or if I can utilize it or not. So I just figured I'd build that. So slowly I'm just building everything and then hopefully I can find these people that belong there. Um, and you have like little talk sessions so when your survivors like you because they're not going hungry they're not going cold they have a place to sleep um they will want to talk to you at the training area you can't actually respond to them you just listen to their backstory which is cool so um you know i'm really liking the game the game is based in america it's based around yellowstone park which is cool um and I opened up an area, every major outpost you take, you open up another area. So I don't know why they people were saying the map was small. Um, lo I looked at the map and I counted the areas, but you can't see the areas and what's in it until you cleanse the outpost and take it over. Um, but there's like six areas to it, so I have no clue what people are talking about. It's not meant to be a 40-hour game. It's meant to play and to die to unlock new skills to play and to play again once you die one time you should roughly know where some of the stuff is at so if you thinking about getting feed to silence you're looking at the reviews like i did i would get it i got mine at 50 percent off my husband paid full price so his full price was 40 and i mean i'm enjoying it so it just depends what you like. It does remind me of um, uh, State of Decay, except it has a story to it. 
and that's what I like. Um, so that's about all going on. We went last Saturday. We watched it. I think I went Saturday because Sunday was a really bad day for me. Um, I decided to wash the floor, but I have to wait until my husband gets up and goes to school to finish it. Um, so I don't wake him. Uh, but yeah, my back, my shoulders and stuff are killing me from, you know, holding my grandson. He's about 30 pounds now, so he likes to be picked up. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about all going on. Um, I will be doing an unboxing of my Glen bag for this month. Um, I'm just going to do that separate and post it separately. Um, probably post it tomorrow. I'm going to post this right now when I get done. Um, and I have a, another pre-recorded ASMR that I'm going to put up. I haven't had a chance to do the nails because my glue dried out. Um, so hopefully Monday I'll be able to snap those on and do some videos with that. I uh, hope you have a great weekend. If you're doing anything, let me know. Any concerns, comments, leave them down below. You want to talk about games that I have played. Um, you know, you can always say, hey, have you played this game? This is what I like about it. We can have a conversation about that as well. Um, so thank you for watching and have a great weekend.